When you are learning English, sit and think about it. What you are learning in school, is it helping you? Think about it. Balance it with the reality. Are they the same? No. You are learning something that is not even going to help you. Nowhere. What you learn in school cannot help your future. But they are here. Prove it. I will prove you wrong. That English language and French language and Portuguese language in Africa, is it can take you nowhere. If you like, learn from here to for, for, for 100 years. Keep on learning. You can learn English just for, for to know how to speak English. You can learn French to know how to speak French, but not to how to develop yourself or how to develop your country. You can never develop your country by learning English or French or Portuguese. You can never develop. That's why none of these leaders can develop their countries in Africa. Are you seeing all, how all leaders are foolish? If not, 54 countries in Africa, there is no leader who gets sense to develop his country as it's supposed to be or liberate his country. Why? At least if this language system or this education system that they brought to Africa, if it could help us, at least we will have maybe 10 or 15 leaders in Africa who are ready to stand for Africa or who know how Africa, how great Africa is. But none of them know. Because the education system, and they told us that we should not put anybody as our leader who don't go to school. That's where we make mistakes. We believe it. And we sign it as a law in Africa. Yes. But all the leaders in European countries, they all learn uh, their own language. They don't learn African language. So why our leaders, we have to choose someone who, speak for, who can speak foreign language. Who can speak Westerners language? Why? By force, we have to choose a leader who has certificate of learning Western language. Why? But Westerners are not doing it. Are not choosing leaders that can speak uh, African language. If you, if, you, if you are a politician in Europe yeah, and you can speak an African language, you will never become a leader. They will never put you as a leader. You are an European citizen and you want to become a politician, but you, you can speak African cultural language. You can never become a leader. They will never choose you to become a leader. Never. But we are proud of those who can speak foreign language. We don't want to We don't want to put people as a leader who don't know how to speak foreign language because we call them illiterate. A very big mistake we are making there. Let's clear this mess once and for all. If you want to prove me wrong, choose a leader in your country who have never been to school and balance it and calculate it and evacuate it with a leader who have been there before. You will see that we have been making mistakes. The same mistake we are making, the same mistake every year, every time. When we want to choose leaders, we have to choose leaders who go to school, who, who graduated. What do they graduated for? They go and learn how to suffocate you, and they graduated with that certificate, you come and put them in power, and you expect them to do good for you. They will suffocate you because that's what they learn in school. Yes, that's what they learn in school, how to suffocate their own peoples. And you put them as a leader. And you expect them to do well for you or develop you because they don't learn about developing in school. We don't learn. In schools, in Africans, in our educational system, we don't learn about development. We don't learn about how to improve things, how to create things. A white child who go to school for three years, what he can create a black man who go to school for 12 years cannot create it in Africa. Believe me, there are people who are watching me there in Europe. They are seeing European children who go to school. A European child who go to school for three years. They can create things. Then they are intelligent and smart. An African man, full grown man who spent 15 years in school cannot even do nothing for himself. He's not even still yet intelligent. Do you see the mistake we are making? We are spending how many, how many years in school? Before you graduate. If you are learning English, you have to spend 12 years in school before you graduate, from grade 1 to grade 12. In Europe, here, come and see their educational system. They fool us. We have to spend 12 years in school before we know what, if, what we have to do. That is waste of time. They plan all this to make sure that we waste 12 years of our future. In your future, you, spend, you waste 12 years in school, if not uh, education. Just to learn how to develop yourself, how to run a country. Doesn't need to go and do school for 12 years, to waste all 12 years for no reason. But this was all planned on Africans. That's why they plan it like this. 
in Africa, if you start schooling in five years, now five years plus 12 years in school, maybe some people will even do 13 years in school or 14 years because you know why? Because when you reach grade four, you didn't pass exam, you repeat grade four again. So some people were repeating sometimes. So some people, maximum 15 years, let's say 15 years plus, you know, you start school when you are in five years as an African child. When you are in five years, when you have five years, you started school. Five years plus 15 years, that is 20 years. Now you wasted 20 years. From 20 years now, you wasted 20 years, you still not enough. You have to go to university. You have to go to college. You go to university for three years. You go to college for three years. Six, six years plus 20 years, that is 26 years. You wasted 26 years of, years of, of your future. A 26 years man in Europea have already graduated since when he is already earning money, working on his future. Some of the 26 years boys or girls in Europea have already built their future. 26 years. Before they reach 26 years, they have already built their future. They are doing what they are doing to move on with life. Now, they are, a, 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 white, a white child who is 25 have already planned his future, have already finished planning his future. An African man, when you reach 40, that's the time you start to think about your children. But a white child, when they are 25, they started thinking about their future, their children. But a black man, the, due to the educational system and the waste of few years, is 26 years, we waste for no reason. We waste it for no reason. In school, we say we are learning. After graduated with your certificate, go find a job. Where will you get job? Because you don't learn nothing. There is no education system in Africa. If there is education system, there will be employment system. But there is no education system in Africa. That's why there is no employment system. Yes, how many youth graduated in your country? How many youths graduated every year? And how many youths are unemployed in your country? Because the educational system that was in that is in Africa was not created by Africans. So we cannot create job opportunity with that educational system. We have no educational system, that's why we have no job creation for the youths. So we are failed. This educational system must be removed from Africa. I swear. If we don't wise off, <laughs> we will never be wise up. Sometimes when I watch how these people fool us, I sit and think. It pained me so much. You will not understand. It pained me so much. I spent 12 years in school, right? That 12 years is waste. I wasted 12 years of my life for nothing. Yes, in Gambia, I spent 12 years in school. So I wasted 20, 12 years of my life for free. And still wasting your life, you are still paying to waste your life. Yes. In Europea, <laughs> go and see how their school is run. Very easy. You go to school, maybe three, within three, four years, you, you are already planning what job you are going to do. In next two years, again, you, you already started earning money. Seven years you spend in school, you already started earning money. Yes, you started benefiting from the seven years that you waste in your life. In Europe, yeah. In Africa, can you spend seven years in school and started eating money? <laughs> we all know it's impossible. So this is why I need to tell you all this to make you believe me that the education system in Africa is not an education system. It's a system that was prepared by them and they give it to us so that we will waste an African child. Because if a child is born from one year to five years, the child still, we can call it, the child still don't know nothing. But from five years to 15 years, that is the capture of brain. If that child cannot make it in that five years to 15 years, cannot plan what he have to do, can never make it. That's why Africans are never making it. Can't you see? We are never making it. Yes, most of the Africans, if they will make it, they make it in 50s. When you are 50 years, when you are 45 years, you started making it. You waste how many years of your life? But come and see, Arab. That is not how they are running things. 
Go to America. That is not how they are running things. So we are failed. And we need to understand these points. And make clear these points. How can this point be clear? Because we don't have any leader who will give you this constitutional law that we don't need white man constitutions in our foreign policies. We don't need their educational systems. There is no leader who is ready to do this. Because if any leader says, I'm going to remove English from my country or French, they started putting Samsung on you. The African Union that we call an African Union, an ECOWAS in Africa, they started putting Samsung on you while you ban foreign language. Yes, an African Union will not ban you for banning your own language from your country. But African Union will ban you when you ban England language, when you ban French language, when you ban Portuguese. African Union will ban your country. And we still believe that African Union is for us, for us Africans. We still believe in them. We still believe that they are there for us. They are never there for you. I told you one person asked me in the interview last month. I told the person that if I am a president in Africa, I will ban that African Union from my country. I will ban ECOWAS from my country. Those are things that must be demolished because they are not there for Africans. They are, they, are, they are projects that are created by white peoples, Westerners. And those projects are there to defend Westerners. It protects them. ECOWAS, African Union, always protect white men, Westerners, how to destroy Africa. Yes, they have their own projects in our own continent. Africa, how many, how many projects do we have in Europe? No project. Africa have no project in Europe. Africa have no project in America. Africa have no project in UK. But they gather together, UK, America, Europe, they gather together to have their projects in Africa and fool us by naming it African Union. But that African Union is a project or is an association that was built and created by Westerners to put in Africa. So that's why that African Union will always do things that favor Westerners, not Africans. Equus also the same thing as a democratic equus that defend the democratic leaders, but not the country. But it defend the leaders that the Westerners are in support of. That is called equus. And we still believe that equus is there for us. So these people have their own projects, have their own military units in Africa. We have no military unit in Europe. We have no military unit in America. So why Americans will have their military unit in America? For what reason? Why Europeans will have their military unit in Congo? Go to Congo, go to Benin. Why European Union is having their military unit there? While Africa have no military unit in Europe? Huh? Why is that happening? We need to wise up. Mostly when I talk to African leaders, I say they don't have sense. People say you don't have respect for them. Do you expect me to have respect for any African leader? There is no leader in Africa at this point in time that I have respect for. If him, uh, this man, uh, Mr. Paul, Rwandan president, I see some people who are telling me, ah, this man is doing great. You don't know. Mr. Paul, Rwandan president, is not doing any great thing. Go and ask Rwandans. They will tell you. They are in best position to tell you if Mr. Paul, the Rwandan president, is doing well. I don't just look what the president says and started praising you. I look what you are doing to your peoples in your country. Kenya president, Ruto, why everybody is saying, no, Ruto is good because what Ruto was saying on media. We believe that Ruto is good. Go and ask Kenya peoples how Ruto is treating them. How Ruto, Ruto is not doing nothing for that country. Because Ruto will sit and speak like a Pan-African and we believe that Ruto is doing well for his own peoples. Go to Kenya. Or ask Kenya peoples. Trust me. Ask Kenya peoples. I watch Ruto, Ruto videos, most of his interviews. Ruto, of course, when he do interview, he speak well, but is he doing well? No. You speak well, but you are not doing well. What is the benefit of speaking well? When you speak well, you have to do what you are saying. But Ruto will sit in American interview or UK or Canada started blabbing. And we believe what he is saying. Right. What he, whatever Ruto was saying on media was something that when he is like that, it will be good. But Ruto was not speaking. Was not doing what he, what he was always saying, emphasizing. So Ruto is just speaking. But when he go back to his country, he's suffocating his own peoples. 
Kenyan people are suffocating from Ruto hand. But Ruto is always telling you that Africa have to be this, Africa have to be this, free visa, that free visa, that free visa, that free visa for Africa, this, that. That's not what we need. I'm telling you, as any African, that's not what we need, please. I would want people to understand my point. Why do I say when Ruto says uh, I have free visa for Africans? That's not what we need. If Ruto want free visa for Africans, we want these African leaders to come together as one people and build up their own foundation as African leaders foundation and started making every free border, free border for all. If only Ruto says Kenya free visa, then still Africa is not free. Only one country free in 54 countries. Is that continent free? That continent is not still free. But Ruto is just preaching good and doing bad in Kenya. That is Ruto, President Ruto for you, Kenya President. Ruto is speaking, speaking good, but doing bad in his country. Ruto is number one problem in Kenya, if you don't know. Because I saw many people send me this short video of Ruto where he's speaking like a Pan-African. Hey, they tell me that, brother, this man is this, this man is very good, this man is doing well, this man is speaking the truth. Speaking the truth is not a problem. Are you acting that way as a leader? But ask Kenyan peoples. Trust me. If you post some video in media today to say that it is, is Ruto good or bad, you will receive more bad than good. Why? 75% of Kenyan citizens are not in support of Ruto because they are suffering. So Ruto is just speaking out as a great man, but Ruto is a bad man. That is Ruto for you. Go and check Rwandan president. Go and check Cameroon president. Cameroon, I'm sorry, I will come for Cameroon. I will come Cameroon as a special video. What is happening in Cameroon? Go and check that idiot also in Cameroon. Go and check another idiot in Ghana. Who time? I think his time is already over. Akufar. But if his time is over, Ghanaians, you will go and vote for someone who, who, who have certificate again. And you think that person will not suffocate you. Africans, I am the one who tell you this. Record it and pack it. I will tell you this from today. If you remove your leader and put another leader, as far as that leader has a certificate of suffocation that you call education, he will sort of suffocate the country. We can never have a good leader unless we stop picking these fools who go to school and graduate from these suffocation schools. And graduate from this uh, learning foreign languages. Those are the peoples we need to stop them from go, from asking for leadership. When we don't do that, we can never have a great leader in Africa. It will be too difficult to have someone who go to school and graduate and still know who he is and where he came from and how great Africa should be and how great he should be to his peoples. It will be very difficult. So my peoples. I will leave you with this. I just came live because uh, it has been a while and I have this interruption on my life. And uh, people miss to see me live, that's why. And most of the people who have not been watching me from the beginning, I will explain a little bit why I have not been live for so long. People miss to see me live. I explained it before. It was all about the military uniform that I wear. That why do I wear military uniforms? It was all about that, that I'm not entitled to wear a military uniform. But as you can see, I still wear it. So they are just trying to find a way to nail me down, to find fault in my life. But I thank God, we conquer it. I conquer it, and I will still do my live videos with my military uniforms. Because nobody can stop me. <laughs> the only, only the way to stop Panamaka is to kill Panamaka. But nobody can stop me. So, thank you so much, guys, for being with me here. And uh, I appreciate all of you being with me. Tomorrow I will be live again, uh, by the grace of God. I will be live again tomorrow if uh, I am not busy. Because, as it is, I tell you, I will be more... The more, the, more they, the more they try to arrest me, the more I become more dangerous to fight for Africa, I tell you. The more Europeans, I speak English so that they can understand if they are watching me on Windows. 
the more Europeans are trying to arrest me more and more, the more I become more dangerous to fight for Africa. The more I will add the effort. Yes, the more I will expose them to Africans, the more I will make Africans to hate them, the more they try to arrest me, the more I do more. And I will never stop. The only thing that can stop me is if, unless if they kill me, if I'm gone. If I'm gone, no problem. But as far as I am alive, this war is not end. The fight still continue. Thank you guys for being with me here. May God bless you all. May God give us all long life. May God save us and protect us. May God give us all good life and prosperity and a good health and long life. And that is the biggest thing that we also always pray for. Good, uh, good health and uh, long life. May God give us all good health and long life. Wherever you are as a black African, may God save you from your enemies. Whatever your enemies plan against you shall never prosper. Whatever your enemies plan against you shall go back to sender. Uh, wherever you are as a black man, may God protect you from these evil men, especially those who are living in European territories or American territories or white man territories or Arab man territories. May God save you from the evil man. May God save you. May God protect you all the time from your enemies. Whatever your enemies plans against you shall never prosper as a black man wherever you are living. I pray to God and God protect all of us and guide us and give us prosperity in our life. Whatever we put our hands in as a hustler, may God save us and may God guide us and may God always protect Protect us, whatever we put our hands in, may God make it prosper for us. May God save us. Thank you so much, guys. May God bless you all. I will cut my life here, I know. Thank you so much, guys. to kill an African, and they might not fear to fight for Africa. 